Hello, how are you today? I am Hina from Team Test, welcoming you again in my series of question answers for the GATE exam. Well, I told you our test book of such question answers is already published. You can have your own copy by contacting us on this number, 938783971. In fact, Kalyani Ma'am has an online course and an online quiz program for GATE. You can have it, you can grab it, you can crack this exam, right? Okay, now today's five question answers will include Buchi Amachita, French New Wave, Pulitzer Prize winner, Brahma Poem, and Tess Durbeville's novel. Questions from these. So it is going to be all knowledge, all fun, and seriously good. Let's begin with question number one. Well, this is from the genre of feminist literature. Question is, which of the following describes the theme of Buchi Emachita's novel, The Joys of Motherhood? Okay, the best description for this novel. Listen to the options. A, it condemns motherhood. No. B, it shows an ambivalent attitude to motherhood, a mixed attitude. C, it deconstructs the African conceptions of motherhood. Or D, it supports the African perception of motherhood against the Western. Tell me, what do you think is the major theme of the joys of motherhood? Well, the answer is B. It shows an ambivalent attitude to motherhood. Now, let me tell you why an ambivalent attitude. Because this novel, first of all, you should know who is the protagonist of this novel. It is New Ego, double N-U-E-G-O, New Ego. She's this African woman who initially could not give birth to children, but later had several of them. She enjoyed motherhood, but she hated it equally. So much so that in the end, if anybody seeked for her blessings for children, she did not bless them. She did not grant them children, okay? Now, a little bit about Buchi Emichita. Well, she was a Nigerian-born, UK-based novelist, okay? And this novel was published in 1979. And a very nice information I will give you. Do you know the meaning of New Ego, who's the protagonist of the novel? What is the meaning of the name New Ego? The meaning is 20 bags of quarries. Quarries are these shells, these small shells, which were used as currency in Africa in the olden days, okay? It's, it's a good novel. You must read it, okay? Or at least know the summary of it, yes? Okay, let's move on to question number two. This is from a movement in France, which took place in late 1950s in Paris. The name was French New Wave. The question is, which of these are features of French New Wave? Your options are A, an informal style of filmmaking, B, improvisation during shooting, C, handheld cameras for natural shots, and D, experimental editing, often using jump cuts. What do you think are the features of French New Wave? It was an art film movement. Should I tell you the answer? All of them are correct. Yes. Well, this French New Wave, as I told you, was an art film movement which emerged in Paris and it rejected the traditional filmmaking conventions. It gave full creative license to directors, you know, to experiment, to have their control. And for this, they could be informal during filmmaking. They could improvise during shooting. They could use the handheld cameras, you know, which move for a natural shot. And yes, they could edit experimentally by using jump cuts. Now, what are jump cuts? I'll tell you, there's a shot, okay? And uh, I first cut it into three parts, okay? I delete the center part and I join the ends together. What happens with this jump cut is the shot feels like it jumps in time. You know, it has jumped in time. This is called as jump cut. So basically, French New Wave, it tells all this, it encourages all this. So A, B, C, D, everything is correct. Okay, can we move on to question number three? Yes, Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer Prize, you know, is an annual prize distribution within the United States. It is given in 21 categories, including, of course, literature, musical compositions, newspapers, etc. So the question is, who won the Pulitzer Prize 2022 for fiction? 
okay very famous novelist very famous novel your option are a joshua cohen b colson whitehead c julian barnes or d george saunders who won 2022 pulitzer prize for fiction your answer is a joshua cohen now for which novel you should know it the netanyahu's full name of the novel is the netanyahu's an account of a minor and ultimately even negligible episode in the history of a very famous family. Novel published in the year 2021. A little bit about this novel, you know, it's a fictional account of how Harold Bloom, an American critic, encountered or met with Benjamin Netanyahu and his family, including his son, Benjamin Netanyahu, who is the prime minister of Israel, okay? They met where? At an upstate university in New York okay, in 1950s. So basically, this novel has incorporated history and fiction together. Yes, we can read it. I've not read it, but I'm definitely planning to read it by this copy. Okay, can we move on? Well, if you like all these question answers and you want to have your own book of the same, you can call us on the number 93878-39871. All right, can we move on to question number four? Yes, we can. Hindu philosophy. The following lines show the strong influence of Hindu philosophy. Listen to the lines. The strong gods pine for my abode, but thou, meek lover of the good, find me and turn thy back on heaven. Who has written these lines? Your options are A, T.S. Eliot, B, Leo Tolstoy, C, W.B. Yeats, or D, Rolf Waldo Emerson. It is from a poem, Brahma, I can tell you that. But who has written Brahma? You know it. The answer is D, Rolf Waldo Emerson. Well, do you know the central speaker of this poem is Lord Brahma himself, the omnipotent, the omniscient, the omnipresent. And the seeker, he's like a karam yogi who must perform deeds selflessly. Okay, a mythological poem, a religious poem, right? And with this, we come to the last question of the day. Hardy's, Thomas Hardy's, test of the D'Urbervilles is divided into seven phases. Match the correct pair. Here the phases are given. Phase one, phase two, phase three. And the names are given. The rally, the maiden, maiden no more. What do you think? Just match them. I will tell you the answer directly. The answer is D. A2, B3, C1, which means phase one is the maiden, phase two is maiden no more, phase three is the rally. Should I tell you the other four phases? Well, fourth is the consequences, fifth is the woman pays, sixth is the convent, and seventh is fulfillment. Yes, this novel has the uh, characters like Tess, Alec, Angel. It's a good one, okay? And we are done for the day. I have to tell you something. From tomorrow, I am beginning with something new, something nice, and a big surprise for you. If you want to know, do meet me tomorrow here at this channel, on this channel. Well, this was Hina from Team Tess, and it was lovely teaching you. I hope you are gaining the knowledge that you need to crack exams, right? Net, set gate and all the prestigious examinations i'm sure you are getting the information from our videos from our channel yes okay see you tomorrow have a good day bye